here we go. I MacGyvered us a little tarp because it's supposed to be it's supposed to rain today. Maybe a bigger tarp next time so I don't have to use my emergency sleeping bag. It'll do for now. It's a cloudy day today. Okay, so what did we have? This morning I had coffee and cereal. Uh, Erica had, had cold no, had and, and oatmeal. oatmeal. Erica had the granola, granola. granola cereal. cereal. And we use our hiker. That's what we use when we go on hikes. But we figure to just make a whole fire just for breakfast. breakfast. We weren't making anything else but cereal. So didn't even bother one. We didn't even bother burning the wood. We are going to carry this with us. There we go. We're gonna carry this with us. We're gonna make some hot water, fill it up. By the time we get to uh, halfway in the hike, we can stop and we can enjoy it together. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's it guys. We'll show you our new hike. It's probably gonna be an easy one. So we're getting ready. We're gonna go off to a trail. We're gonna have to drive back to the Discovery Center because it's a long walk this way. I'll carry our utensils. Uh, you're going to carry, and the food? I have to put the hatchet away though. Yeah. My daughter's hatchet. Um, well, we can't leave yet. We have to make hot water. Yeah, I know. Day two, guys. We're going on our second hike. Look how beautiful it is here. Just amazing. We're going on a second hike. It's one of the trails my daughter already did. And I'm excited. Like two years ago, I think. No, more than two, like three years ago, three, four years ago. I'm excited to show you guys. So when we get there, time is going fast, eh? That's it, we have tomorrow and then we're done. Yeah. This is paradise, guys. How beautiful. It's supposed to rain today, but so far, no rain, but very hot. All raspberries, guys. You want to stop and have a little snack? Everywhere you go, raspberries. Is this the trail, Erica? Is this the trail? Raspberries, raspberries, raspberries. Yesterday's trail was crazy. I wish I was able to record it for you. Unfortunately, I couldn't because my phone died on me. And my battery pack was in my other bag, like a dodo bird that I am. Oh, there's potties if we want to go. This is a small souvenir. Souvenir. Black bear. Yeah, this thing up there. Oh, here, this is a campground. Yeah. So we're going around the lake today. How many kilometers, Erica? About, actually it's going to be about 14 kilometers because we weren't sure if this was a path. But it did end up being... Yeah, we walked back and came back. Yeah. But look how beautiful this is, guys. I'll so it's, it's going to be a flat, a flat. Uh, yeah, this is considered an easy trail. Yeah. It's just flat. Yeah. But it's a nice view because you're walking around the. Lake. This is what the path's going to be like. But the beauty is that we're going to get to see the beautiful lake. This is Lake Monroe. 
So if you guys come up and you bring your bikes, you could also bike on this trail. Not a very long trail, about 13, 14 kilometers. No. Yes. I'm sorry, sorry. That's okay. Um. That beautiful. Look at it. And it looks like we might get that rain after all, but that's okay. We have our rain jackets. I never heard anybody to walk in the rain. This must be part of the lake, like a bay. Is it like a bay? Yeah. Nothing like the view that we had. There's that island. Beautiful. Ah, hope he doesn't run away. Hello, little guy. Let me record him. I'm shaking. He's got a sneeze. I shouldn't be too friendly with that else. They're in danger, eh? When we're too friendly. Yeah. They're not scared of humans anymore. That's sad, eh? When they're not afraid of people. Hello, little guy. Look at that. They're not afraid of humans anymore. Hello, he's so beautiful. Look how close I am to him. Or her. Not afraid at all. That's so sad. They're not afraid at all. That's crazy. Hey, that's crazy that they're not afraid of people anymore. Beautiful. Okay guys, so the tray we've been using is basically like Le Petit Train d'Anar, a little more gravelly. And now we're going to go to Lac Lausanne and we're going to sit there and we're going to eat our backpacker meal that we prepared this morning. So we gotta go to this nice little wooded area. And hopefully we'll get to a beautiful lake. So magical. I love the forest. Oh, I can see the lake ahead of us. I see a little spot of blue. I didn't even bring our tarp to sit. We have a, they have picnic benches. Yeah? Yeah, I can see that. Oh, that's great. That's perfect then. I gotta remember to drink. I never drink enough when I go hiking. Not a good thing. Oh, how beautiful. Even the other way. Oh, someone hey, someone lost the top. How beautiful is it, guys? Beautiful. Oh, you can stop it. Really nice. Watch your hand, please. Oh, sorry. Just There's plenty to see up here. Look, there's people on that side of the lake.
what are we making for dinner? My daughter was craving uh, ramen noodles, but what we're going to do is we're going to uh, pan fry some broccoli, cauliflower, zucchini, pepper, and we're going to also put some vegan noble jerky. But this, we're going to put this. We're going to put this at the very end when our vegetables are almost all cooked. And then we're going to cook, we're going to put this in our bowl and we're going to top it off with ramen noodles or put the noodles and then tap, uh, top it off with the, um, with the vegetables. And we're also doing uh, some delicious organic shiitake mushrooms. And that's what our dinner is going to be like. So... These are the ramen. These are the ones vegan. we're using. They're vegan ramen noodles. Not the yeah. best thing for us. Yeah, those are vegan right there. Not the best thing for us. But sometimes, you know, you have that craving. And it's a we, treat. It's a treat for camping, right? Yeah. Uh, today we had... Um, beautiful. You want me to cut it in half or put them in half? Uh, yeah, cut them in half, I think. Yeah? Yeah, just take off a little bit of the stem at the bottom because that's very wizzy. Um, you want me to take off the stem completely? No, no, like just that? a bit, yeah. I like the texture of the stem. It has that meaty texture. Um, sometimes you just, you know, you want to have something that's not as healthy. Um, we Today we did a backpacker's meal. Uh, we had the Cuban, was it the Cuban? Cuban coconut rice. Cuban coconut rice and beans with banana, and it was simply delicious. Uh, we just put some hot water uh, in the bag before we left to go on our hike. And by the time we got there, uh, it was perfect to eat. So that's it. Very simple meals, but very delicious meals. And the best part is there's no animal products. Everything is vegan. Okay. Uh, so that's it. We brought some. Can you show the Montreal steak spice? very delicious we put that on all our vegetables and if you can't find it where you are I do have a recipe on how to make a mock version that I make when I don't have any um, that's bought but my husband treated me uh, not long ago I had no more of my steak spicy and came home with a big container so we still have um, our Montreal steak spice we just refill the small container that we keep near our stove but I did bring it with us to put on our vegetables. A little bit of olive oil and they're gonna go on the grill. So I'm gonna take you. Here is the little grill that we picked up because I told you what our dilemma was. Hi, I had ordered the grill to bring with us for uh, camping, but it was supposed to arrive on a Wednesday and then I got a notice that it's only gonna come in on Monday. What good was Monday gonna be for us? So my daughter saw these, they're just uh, cooling racks basically that you cool cookies or bread with and it just did the job. It was so much cheaper than what I paid. I paid, I think it was $45 for the, for the grill uh, on Amazon and uh, this cooling rack, I think we got two of them for what Erica, $6 or $8 for $8. And they were expensive because we got them at Provigo. If I had gone somewhere else, I'm sure even the dollar store would have had these for $4. But, you know, live and learn, right? So, here we go. We're just going to make a little stir fry. And then we're going to add, uh, add this on top of our ramen noodles. And that's going to be our dinner. Another tip, if you're cooking vegetables in a cast iron or even an aluminum uh, tray over fire sometimes you tend to burn your vegetables so what you could do is add a little bit of water a little at a time it just kind of helps cook the vegetables and then you leave it to get nice and golden and that's what I'm going to do if I have to Erica put very little fat I could add more if you want yeah well we could add a little bit more fat we had a nice little hiking trip today you got to see a bit of it not much I didn't want to bore you with the whole trip because that would have taken way too much of your time but you get to see some of the highlights that we saw 
Uh, we really did enjoy a nice lunch in front of a small lake. It was just beautiful. It wasn't a climbing hike. It was a flat hike, which was almost welcome. <laughs> uh, the one we did yesterday was really, really steep, and it was always uphill. I, I looked for. I really looked forward when we were coming downhill. Hey, Erica. Yeah. Yesterday. <laughs> It was a good workout. I'm a little sore today, but it's always good. So I'm just going to cook this up until they get nice and and grilled with the cast iron. And then we're going to make our noodles and we're going to top this off. That's one thing I forgot was salt. But it has a little bit of salt inside the steak. I want you have steak spice, so we're going to be okay. Plus the ramen noodles are going to be salty, so... Yeah, not something that I eat often. If I have ramen noodles, maybe twice a year. But side view, I wish you could smell it. And what a treat today. Um, the neighbors that were next to us, uh, they were burning incense today. And wow, what a treat that was. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm sure it was like a jasmine that she was burning. It was really nice. These won't take long because we really don't want to overcook these. You just want them nice and charred and you still want to have some of that freshness in your vegetable. Yeah, that's perfect. Maybe a little more steak spice, Erica. my granddaughters one of my granddaughters gave me this another one gave me something else and I decided that I was going to bring them uh, every time I go hiking I have a little good luck charm I've got the other one in my bag that I carry another one hanging off my bag my beautiful granddaughters, always thinking about Nana. And I think Erica and I decided that we're going to have to bring them with us next time. Erica, you should put some water in the big pot so we could start getting that water hot on the side. Yeah. Because this won't take long. And if you make your vegetables first and they get cold, that's okay too because the hot noodles will uh, we'll heat them up again. So you could actually prepare this ahead of time. Trying to keep that handle from not getting hot. How many mushrooms were left, Erica? How many? How many were left? Maybe you could throw the rest in. Eh? Yeah, I might as well do it, eh? I what do you say? Away. Yeah, you could hand cut them. You could take my knife and just hand cut them. Let me see. Just rip them. Or rip them in half. Here, if you want to do it while I... Uh... Yeah. They're just going to use them all. <laughs> might as well. If there's leftover vegetables. We'll munch on them later. This is for after. Do you want to put it in the soup or do you want it to put it in the stir-fry? Uh, we're going to put it in the stir-fry at okay. the end. So I'll leave it there for you. Beautiful organic shiitake mushrooms. Oop. There we go. That's it, the broccoli and cauliflower. We could do it with hummus tomorrow. Hey, Erica? Yeah. And it's so nice and cool at night that the food stays nice and cool in the, in the Jeep. 
the rest uh, of the stuff that we have now basically are either they could stay out of the a refrigerator. Can I dump this here? Uh, yeah, sure. Either the rest of the food is either can stay outside the refrigerators or a refrigerator or uh, their backpacker meals. And tomorrow we wake up, we're going to make a tofu grill either for breakfast or for lunch. This morning we just had some oats, some oatmeal, and that's it. A little drop of water would be nice, Erica. Do you want to put uh, another log on the side, or do you want to wait till after we eat? After we eat, I guess. Yeah. I'm trying to put as much of this inside. Want to try one, Eric? What? Mm -hmm. A little al dente, but try you want to try it. I'm cleaning this right now. Mm. It's good. That's an al dente. I'm just rubbing charcoal. So, I'm going to show you what my daughter does. To get rid of the odor because we don't want any bears around the camp. She rubs charcoal where we cut our food. And rinse it off. And then she just rinses it off. And she'll show you how nice and clean it gets. It gets clean. And no more smells. But we do put everything back in our Jeep at night. We don't leave anything out. I'm not sure in the States how you guys do it, but in Mont Blanc, that's what they want. They want you to put everything back in your truck and nothing stays around at night. You do not want, especially there's black bears everywhere up here. They're so hungry, especially when you've hiked all day. 
like you can't get enough food. Hikers eat like crazy amounts of food. Okay, so these are pretty much done. Smell it. Yeah, no smell whatsoever. I don't know. Can you see it? There you go, nice and clean. Oh, you want to bring it back oh, and keep it there for sorry. a couple of seconds? There you go, nice and clean, and there's no more smells of any type of food. Here's our noble jerky, and I'm only adding this now because I, our vegetables are already cooked. We don't want to overcook this. Now, if you want to, if you can't get any uh, jerky like this, you could even make some with seitan. I have a recipe for that if you want to go look. But there it is. How's the water? Okay, so here it is. Our dinner is ready, guys. So, we're going to put this aside and we're going to boil our water. Erica, I need my, uh, so oh, I don't yeah. burn my hands. I've got enough burns on my hands. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. Where's that paper? Sorry. Okay, so now uh, you can cover it so nothing goes on it. There we go. And we're going to put our water. This won't take long. We're going to throw our noodles in. Oh, come on, throw on top, eh? Yeah. What do we do with our vegetables, too? Mm -hmm. Some warm water. It's freaking hot. Okay. It's hot near this fire. Okay, I think the log on to the Okay, so we have to go look for that after we eat. Oh, we could do that. I want to see where this beach is. Maybe we could look at the stars thereafter. Okay. Let's go look. Almost. Yeah. yeah I think it says five minutes boiling. Like once the noodles are put in, but I don't think it's gonna take five minutes. I think it's gonna be faster once it's boiled, once it's like come to a boil. What do you think? Should be. Okay. You could put I that in to... now, you know? I wanna put it in all together. Where's my phone so I can uh, put a timer? Oh yeah, I have it here. What do we have in the uh, it's in dehydrated vegetables and the soup mix, and then these that got kind of <laughs> broken. But that's broken okay. up. It's gonna get so much broken in your belly. Okay, so we're gonna let that cook for five minutes. Start. So for five minutes, we're gonna cook our noodles, and then we're gonna put noodles first, and then vegetables on top. Or do you want noodle uh, vegetables oh, first I and my mind. noodles? I don't mind. But here, I think it's going to go just a little faster. That's good. Then we have to boil the next batch. Yeah. I have the water ready for it. Sometimes being, eating food like this just is like a treat, eh? So these are the bowls we picked up. Nice big deep bowls. We've been eating our meals out of this rather than just a flat plate. So we're gonna add 
some veggies and then throw the hot soup on top so everything gets nice and hot. Hmm? Um, sriracha. You have the sriracha yeah, ready? And we have fresh cilantro. We're going to put some cilantro on top. Um, we have the... Do it over there so you can see it. All right, guys. Is it fuel ready? Yeah. And here we go. Want me to pour it? Uh, do it slowly so you don't burn my hand. There's our dish. How beautiful is that? And Erica can start eating. You good, Erica, or do you want more? That's perfect. I'm gonna do mine. So how simple was that guys? Five minutes to put together and dinner is ready. So I want to say I love you guys and guess what? I'll see you in my next video. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.